guys, so this is how, so today I'm going to be making a slime video without using any glue. And I'm sorry if this video is like bad quality because, um, one, I got a new phone and I haven't posted a video in forever. And I'm trying to, I just can't figure out how to upload it and it's, I've been trying for about a week now. So, I'm just going to make a slime video on the YouTube app and see how it turns out. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to want to do is just take your shampoo and put it in the bowl. Then you're going to get to take um, some flour. And keep in mind, this is why I have this thing here because there's a bunch of flour on the floor and I don't want to make a mess. That is too hard to clean up. So that's why I put the napkins under. I know this looks like oil, but it is shampoo. Okay, then once you're done putting your flour in there, you just want to mix it with the mixing tool. And I'm using this hand pointer thingy. I'm going to use the purple part. If it's not a slime texture yet, you're going to want to put it, put in a bunch of flour. Maybe like a little bit more than that, but for right now, that's good. And it will look like food and you will want to try, try to eat it, but just don't, okay? Once it starts to turn into like a big clob, you'll start to think like there's way too much extra flour in here. But that flour is just going to be used for to make it more less sticky. Because if I try to touch it right now, it would get all over me. That would not turn out good. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but it is starting to get more into slime texture. I'm just gonna keep adding more flour in until it feels like a good slime texture. It's kind of like slime right now, but it's not really slime.
Okay, right now you're at the halfway point. If yours looks like mine, that means you are at the halfway point and you're about to get there. Sorry, I just keep carrying noises outside. There's garage sales going on in my neighborhood. And if you can hear extra noise, it's probably my sister and my dad laughing. Although it looks ready, it doesn't feel ready. I did this yesterday and it works so well. Like, I'm not even joking. Okay, I think I'm just going to want to start mixing. And I don't want to keep you up bored, so I'm going to pause this video. Oh, wait. All right. I don't know if y'all guys can tell, but it's starting to turn into a good slimy texture. Hang on, let me see if I can zoom in. Okay. It's starting to turn into a really good slime texture. I just need to mix it a little bit more and I'll be done. I, when I paused the video, I only was stirring for about a minute until I started it again. So it doesn't really take that long to get to this point. About seven minutes. About five minutes to get to this point. But I think I'm at the point where I can start going in with my hands. Yeah, and by the way, you might want to roll your sleeves up if you have long sleeves like me. Just because this can get super messy at times. If you're at this point, you might want to ask someone to pour some more flour for you. But if no one's around, you could do it all by yourself. Sorry if you can't see. I'm just... Hang on. I'll be right back. Well, after mixing it for about five minutes, I got this really good slime texture. Hang on, let me fix the screen. I got this really good slime texture. And the sun does work out. I really like the way that it feels. And this is a great no glue, no borax slime to make. Feels like butter slime. And it just feels really good and soft and...
Oh my gosh, this is super good slime. It's not the best slime, but it is a really good slime. Without any regular ingredients, I just used this shampoo and some flour. And I really like the way this turned out. It does smell a little bit like shampoo. But uh, yeah. It's definitely not the stretchiest slime. But it is a really good slime to make if you don't have any glue or anything. Because these things you just have like lying around your house. Sorry if you can hear that music. I'm going to clean my hands off and then do a little bit of ASMR. So it turns out the napkins did not help at all. And even though I tried to cover it up and make it clean, there is still a bunch of flour right here. And, ugh. So frustrating, I thought I had it all under control, but obviously not. Oh well, it's just a little bit. Yesterday I had to clean up even more flour because I was testing this out. Yesterday was the day that I tested it out. And today was the day that I made the video for y'all. But... So as you can tell, I made a huge mess, not a huge mess, but a mess that I'm going to have to clean up. Let's hope I get it all together. That's good enough. Thank goodness I have this extra napkin. Okay, I do not even know where this napkin came from. It looks like someone bit this napkin. It was on my bed, so. Don't even know where that's from. Don't even know why that's there, but it's definitely a little bit mysterious. There, the rest can just go. Okay, you should probably consider putting the flour right away and make sure that it's closed all the way so that it doesn't leak out any at all. Then you want to take your trash and throw it away. Now that I am done putting my ingredients away, I'm going to start to us with a little ASMR. So... As of now, let's get started.
I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try to make this kind of slime. It is super easy to make and well, it's actually really helpful if you don't have any glue at your house. It smells so good. It smells like food and um, shampoo. It smells so good. I could just smell it all the time, but it does smell really good and it feels really good too and it doesn't get all over your hands. Ooh, I like it. I'm probably going to make it stretchier with lotion, but it just feels so soft. Like rub it against the, your face. Uh, yeah. This is my slime. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like on it. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And click the bell to be notified each time I post a new video. Um, so yeah, I hope you try out this slime. And it is a super good idea.